guys. I hope you're having a great day so far. And I hope you guys all had a good long weekend. Thanks for tuning in for this tarot read. So let's go ahead and we'll get started with your read here. I want to start with the numbers. So we're going to start with the numbers for this read. We'll see what pops forward. See if these resonate with you. It might mean that the message is a little bit more personal if these guys resonate. Uh, so we have the number 16. We have number two. And we do have the month of December as well. And we'll let ooh, all those guys wanted to pop forward. And these ones from the back too. We'll take the ones that came flying out first. Uh, 7, 6, 17, 27, 4, 14. Interesting. That's a lot of sevens too. Uh, in numerology, seven tends to represent spirituality. It tends to represent wisdom. So I don't know if somebody's been going on a more spiritual journey lately or getting more in touch with their spiritual side and their intuition. I might come forward in the read here. We also have 21 and 32. We're going to stop there and we're going to get going with the letters and we'll see what pops forward with the letters today. So X see tarot can you give me some more what's gonna come forward okay and these two guys went sideways so we're taking these guys too we have f i and a few more here please this one h and we had a few that wanted that one wanted to pop off the back too we'll use these guys too so we have d o j a u g and why wow okay so if any of these have a more special meaning for you like i said this read might be a little bit more personal so let's see what we got uh we're gonna grab some tokens that's how we'll start our read today so i want a few tokens one two three so we got we got three there and we'll flip them over together and we'll use them kind of like the oracle cards Woo! so we had death was the first coin that popped forward star and the hangman, interesting. Mm. I get a super positive vibe off of that star coin. I feel like a focus for the future. I feel opportunity. I feel optimism. Uh, but I do feel like somebody, it's like it's up to them to bring a chapter to an end. It's up to them to bring something to a close so that somebody, something new can start that hangman. A lot of times that hangman says the only thing that stops us from finding success in our lives is ourselves. And when I say that, I'm talking about like fears, doubts, insecurities, you know, those things that sort of stop us from, from moving towards a goal or stop us from achieving or really reaching for something that we would like to have. Uh, so I definitely be wary of whatever thoughts you're having or insecurities are going on right now that might stop you on this journey. Uh, let's go ahead. I need a tarot deck, please. This is the one. This is the one that's popping forward for your read. So I am interested. Tarot, can you please give me some clarification on these tokens? Ooh, we had a few that wanted to pop out. And that top one wanted to come too. Let's see what we got. The world, eight of cups, two of swords. Hmm. Yeah. I think we're trying to figure out whether to step away from something. I see a lot of indecision here, especially with this two of swords. Uh, which way do I go? Looking for guidance. I think somebody's actually praying for guidance too. Like, do I walk away from something? Should I walk away from this? Uh, you're dealing with somebody who's really manipulative too. That is most definitely the vibe I get from the magician. This is probably where all these doubts and insecurities are coming from. This is the person who is sort of actively working to build this doubt in your mind. Especially sitting next to the Five of Swords. This is like jealousy. This is deceit. This is really negative, toxic energy. Like This is the thing you're struggling to move away from. You're struggling with moving away from a toxic relationship. Uh, it's been going on. Shit's been going on for a while. Especially with this Knight of Wands. Or Nine of Wands. Um, trying to get a beat on exactly what it is. This person's been very emotionally manipulative. Very toxic for quite a while. Like I just feel like it building. Like there are times that you sit back. And you just like think about all the different things. All the different things that happened. All of those. They are red flags. They are warning signs about who this person is. And how toxic they are in your life. And it's like they just keep adding up and adding up and adding up. And this is why you're considering moving away. But. I don't know if they. It's all because of that doubt that they've placed in you about maybe being able to find love somewhere else. 
or if this is just because your heart is involved and because maybe you see potential in this person and who they could be if if they chose to change seven of cups you're really struggling with this choice though really struggling looking for that clarity hmm yeah, I think you love this person. I think you genuinely love this person. This is part of why it's so hard to walk away to. Your heart is very much invested in this. I do have the strength card. You have the inner strength to move away from this toxic situation. You absolutely do. You have the strength to be able to change your world. To step away from this, to bring this chapter to an end. But this is a decision that you need to make for yourself. I don't know if you've been like asking for guidance or praying for guidance with that hierophant i feel like really at wanting guidance or wanting advice or like what do i do looking for a truth wanting a sign well if you have been this is the sign from tarot tarot is telling you don't be afraid don't be afraid put yourself first don't be afraid to step out of a toxic situation uh, to be able to look after yourself to be able to look after yourself and put yourself first the nine of swords i do see a lot of fear and worry in that i see a lot of anxiety let me grab a few more here. The moon card. The emperor. Mm. I think, I don't know if you think this person's like your soulmate. And that's part of why you don't want to step away. Or you feel like there's some sort of really deep spiritual connection. Like you guys are just absolutely meant to be together. I tell you, we all do come into each other's lives for a reason, uh, but we're not meant to always stay there forever. Sometimes we're just meant to help teach each other some sort of lesson or open that, that doorway up so that we can learn a lesson, but it's up to us whether we learn it or not. I'm telling you, so this person did come into your life for a reason, uh, but the lesson they were supposed to teach you and that they are meant to teach you is about respecting yourself is about setting boundaries, is about not allowing people to be a toxic force in your life. It's like trying to get you into this nine of coins energy. This is like the minor arcana version of the empress. This is healing. This is evolution. This is self-growth. It's self-love. This is what you're supposed to be coming into. This is the lesson this person is supposed to teach you. This person is... It's like you were not brought into their life to fix them and make them a different person than you guys could have happily ever after. I'm sorry, that's, I'm sure that's not what you want to hear, but that's the dead truth of it, is this person came into your life to teach you to love and respect yourself and not put up with garbage from others. That is the message that's coming through here. This person is not somebody you're going to find a ten of cups with. Uh, you're just not. You're not going to find that that abundance in the home life. I've heard it called the happily ever after card before from another reader. You're not going to find it with this one. This person's on their own path and their own journey. And you probably came into their life to teach them about um, love and respect and treating others. If you have a deep care for them, treating them with that love and respect. But it's up to them to learn that lesson or not. And I do not feel like at this point in time, this person is actively trying to learn this lesson. I think they've gotten used to the dynamic that the two of you have. And this is how they want to keep things. And I'll tell you, the card I've been holding here is the fountain card. It's the only different card in this deck. Uh, this card represents that, that most important crossroads in your life. So like that base evolutionary chance for change. If you stay on one path, it will carry your life down a certain path a certain way where you will have certain experiences. If you make different choices and you choose another path, it will take your life in a completely different direction. This choice that you're struggling with to step away from this relationship has much bigger implications than you realize. That is what the fountain card tells me, that this is an opportunity for you to learn, to grow, and to evolve. It might be an opportunity for them as well, but this read is more focusing on you. The cards are focusing on your journey and really the care for them today is about you and you finding happiness and you finding balance and you coming into that nine of coins energy, finding self-love, finding your own personal strength and your self-esteem. I'm going to tell you, like I said, I feel like you think this person is your soulmate. I don't know if, if you believe in twin flames or you think they're your twin flame. This person is a toxic force in your life. They are destructive. They are ripping down your self-esteem. They're causing you lots of heartache. Uh, and like 
all the time all the time very manipulative you're looking back in the past when you think about it you stop and take time and think about it and just like all these things are building up and adding up and adding up and it's a very cruel what this person has been doing to you this person is not an emperor this person is not an empress this person is not a higher vibrational energy they are on their own path to finding that and they will not find it as long as they're with you because they've settled for what this is they enjoy this dynamic and they want to keep it so as long as this dynamic exists as long as you are willing to settle for this dynamic this person will always be this way absolutely the only way this situation will ever change is if you make different choices it's time to find that focus. It's time to find that clarity. What do you want? What does the Ten of Cups mean to you? Does that mean a partner who loves and respects you? Because you're not going to get it here. That means you are going to have to make a choice to step away and find it elsewhere. Because this situation is never going to magically turn into that. I'm sorry, this is probably not what you're looking to hear. But Tarot brings forward messages. Not what you want to hear. But what you need to hear and sometimes they're not a whole lot of fun but it absolutely is the truth the page of swords Tower. three of coins i don't know if you guys have broken up before too and this is kind of a lot of on and off kind of thing because i got i got the tower card i got the three of coins i got the four of swords it's like we have this ending then we have this three of coins and this fruitful relationship and coming back in happiness. And then boom, we have the four of swords again and we're back to healing and, and sort of our, our heartbreak and all of that crap again. It feels really up and down. Um, Page of swords is this person you're dealing with. This is a very selfish energy. This is very arrogant energy. Uh, this is somebody who, if you've had this sort of on and off thing before, when you are off, this person spies on you. They actively spy on you. They don't want you to get away. They don't want you to have other options. They don't want you to find your nine of coins empress energy. They don't want you to have that self-confidence and self-empowerment because then they can't control you. This person is extremely controlling, extremely controlling. They use emotions. They use words against you to manipulate you. The star card. Yeah, and there's the queen of coins. She, again, just like the nine of coins, shares a lot of similarities with the empress that self-love, that self-empowerment, believing in yourself. We have the star a second time over here, the coin, and we have the card. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Focus on your goal. Focus on the direction that you want to go to. Focus on what it is you want in a partner. And there she is, the Empress energy. I knew it was going to come out here. This is a chance for you to find something better. I'm not, I'm not just talking about romance and relationships. I'm talking about you for yourself too. Like not having to feel like you're less than. Not having to feel like you have to settle or you have to put up with somebody's garbage. Not feeling like uh, if you don't, you're going to be lonely forever. You'll never find somebody who truly loves and respects you. That's garbage. You will. But first you have to love and respect yourself. This is coming out a lot in my reads today. So this must be what a lot of the collective is going through. There must be a good chunk of people who are sending this energy out if my cards and I got different decks keep picking this this type of story up or sort of that main message. It's time to love yourself. It's time to put yourself first. It's time to see this for what it is, not you, what you wish that it could be. It's time to see this magician person for who they are and not who you wish that they could be. Because who they are is the truth of it. And who they are is what you're always going to keep getting as long as you're with them. And if you want better than that, you have to walk away from them. They are not going to magically turn into Prince Charming or Princess Charming overnight. They're not going to just magically become another person. They're not. They are stuck in this dynamic. They enjoy this dynamic and they will not change as long as they are with you. So if you want a better connection, you have to step away and go find it somewhere else. And it starts too with, like I said in another read, with loving and respecting yourself, building yourself up. Page of coins, justice, ten of wands. Mm hmm. I think you're a really giving person too. I feel like you're a softer energy. You're someone who's very loving, you're very nurturing, you're very kind, you're very giving, you're always wanting to help. I, you think you can fix this person is what it is. This person's got baggage. Uh, this person came to you 
busted up or with issues or whatever it was and you felt like you could love them better and, I, and maybe they even told you that like your love is going to fix me or your love is going to make me better that's crap Whatever they said to you, that's crap. It's manipulative stuff. You can't fix this person. We're all responsible for our own choices. We're responsible for our own feelings. We're responsible for our own journey. And this magician person is just as responsible as you are for their own journey, right? They have to look after themselves. They have to look after their own path. And if they want to ascend, if they want to be high vibrational, they have to do the work to get there. And it's the same with you. If you want to be happy and have this love and self-respect and all of this stuff, you have to choose to get that for yourself. If you want to have a functional relationship, if you want to have somebody who loves and respects you, you first have to love and respect yourself and you have to cut toxicity out. You can't allow people to disrespect you like this or, or saddle you with their burdens because I do feel like this person does that. They saddle you with a lot of their burdens. They dump their baggage on you. Like somehow you're supposed to fix them. But I feel like you're so kind and you're so giving and loving that you want to do that because you see like if they could get fixed, they could be a wonderful person. And you know what? That might be 100% true, but that's something they have to choose to do for themselves. You can't do that. And being in love with somebody who doesn't exist, a version of someone that doesn't exist is not healthy for you. Because that's what you are in love with. You're not in love with the BS that's going on right now. You're not in love with uh, the manipulation. You're not in love with the lies. You're not in love with the put downs. You're not in love with all the negative stuff that's been going on. And that's the reality of what you're dealing with. And that's what you need to look at here. Looking at it, and it's a hard truth. And it's not a fun truth to look at. But it's a truth you need to see to be able to look after yourself. It's time to put yourself first. Absolutely. Six of Wands, Queen of Swords is time to put yourself first. If you ever want to have a relationship where somebody, again, loves and respects you, you have to love and respect yourself. The High Priestess showed up. She is the universe. She is tied to the Fountain card. If you can make this choice, if you can find your way to making this choice and putting yourself first and going through this process and sort of embracing Empress energy, Finding that healing, that self-empowerment is not going to be an easy path. But if you can do it, the rewards will be great. They'll start first with you and on the inside and just how you feel about yourself and how you feel about life and everyday life. And eventually, when the time is right and divine timing comes into play, it will go into a relationship too. The rewards will be felt in a relationship with another person. But first, you have to start with yourself. We always have to start with us first. The Four of Cups, absolutely. And the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Coins. So I will tell you this. <clears throat> this person will try and manipulate you in every way, shape, or form to keep you in this loop. To keep you in this cycle, they will tell you, I will, I'll go to counseling. They will tell you, I want to change. They will tell you, I want to da 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 It's garbage. It's garbage. And you know what? They might want to go to counseling to better themselves. But their journey like this, I can feel in the cards, this person has a lot of baggage they got to deal with. And their best bet of dealing with this baggage and really truly ascending and becoming the person that you believe that they could be is by being single while they're doing it. They need to focus on themselves and take a time out for themselves and deal. And so do you too. And so do you too. And if the two of you can do that and then come back together with different energy, that might be a completely different story. But as long as this exists, this dynamic, and somebody's willing to put up with it, somebody's always going to keep giving it. It's always going to be this negativity round and round and round, manipulation, put downs, uh, insecurities, all of this garbage round and round and round. These games are going to go until somebody steps away. This is not going to change until somebody steps away. And this person who you're with is not going to step away because they enjoy this dynamic. It's going to be up to you. That's why the fountain card came forward. That's why it's so important in this read. This is an absolute crossroads for you. It can make a huge, beautiful change in your life, but you have to be willing to do it yourself. This King of Cups and the Eight of Swords. I do feel like you're worried that if you step away from this person too, you may never find love again, or there might not be anybody else out there for you, or this person was just absolutely meant for you. Like I said, I don't know if you're thinking soulmate or if you're thinking twin flame or whatever it is, but I do feel a lot of fear and anxiety in stepping away from this and that there's nothing else. 
that it's like this or nothing. That's not true. That is absolutely not true. Um, the three of wands. It's time to let this piece of things go and to start a new journey forward and start looking at yourself. Look after yourself. Let this go. Let it go. Like if, if it comes back to you, then it's meant to be. If it isn't, then it was only meant to be in your life for a short reason, a short time to teach you something. There's always a reason behind everything. Everything happens. Uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly, it's all meant to happen to us. And it's to teach us and to help us grow. The fool card. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Knight of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the King of Wands. Uh, this person... This person is not going to want you to move on and move forward. Absolutely not. Uh, they're going to keep coming back and coming back and trying to start this dynamic up. Like I said, I think you guys have done a bit of on again, off again. So they're not, it's going to take time for them to realize that if you choose off, it's not off again. It's off. It's off, 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 done. You're moving on and it's time for them to move on to and deal. Uh, you're going to be challenged over and over and over again with this person, your resolve will be tested. This is part of you gaining strength and personal strength too, is consistently standing up for yourself, consistently saying no to toxicity, consistently putting yourself and your health first and your happiness first. And page of swords, the 10 of swords, yeah, absolutely. This person does not wanna take, I just keep seeing it in the cards, uh, ending coming back, ending coming back. They do not wanna take no for an answer. They do not, you're gonna have your hands full with this one. But like I said, this is where your strength is gonna come. This is where your resolve is gonna come and that you're not putting up with garbage anymore. This is where you get that self-empowerment. Every time you say no to toxicity, you're standing up for yourself and you're building that self-empowerment. You're coming more and more into that empress energy and you're healing more and more too because you're finding that self-confidence and that you are okay without this person in your life. You can move on. You don't need this toxic energy. I'm telling you, when the time is right, divine timing will step in, the universe will step in, and you will eventually get connected with somebody else and somebody new. And it will be somebody more positive because it'll be somebody who's drawn into you in a different energy, in a stronger energy. And it's somebody who's gonna be attracted to stronger energy, higher vibrational energy. It's somebody who's gonna come in with respect and want to build with you for the future. Looking at you like an equal, stable, steady partner. This is not a partnership. That's not what this is. This is one person keeping someone else under their thumb. This is one person emotionally abusing and manipulating somebody else. This is toxic. This is absolutely toxic and it's putting you in a bad spot. And it's really taking a toll on your self-confidence, your self-esteem and your self-love. This dynamic needs to come to an end for your health. You deserve better than this. You don't have to put up with this garbage. It isn't this or nothing. There's more out there for you, but it's up to you whether you choose. Like that fountain card said, you are at a crossroads right now. An absolutely important crossroads in your life. If you can bring this toxicity to an end and choose to move into Empress energy and find self-empowerment, you will find a beautiful, abundant path in your future. If you choose to stay within this cycle, you are going to get more of this cycle. And if at some point in the future, you finally have enough and walk away, it's gonna take even more work to come back from that. Because every time you go through this cycle with this person again, it adds more baggage on. It adds more baggage, it adds more time, it stalls out your journey in finding a relationship with a true soulmate or somebody who you truly love and respect and reciprocates that with you. Alrighty, that is your Recollective.